Hello friends, welcome to this YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve a couple of numerical problems on network reduction methods. By solving these problems, we shall learn how to simplify a complicated resistive network and determine its equivalent resistance between any two terminals using star to delta or delta to star transformation. Let us go through the guiding equations. Here three registers R1, R2, R3 form a star and three registers R1, 2, R2, 3, R3, 1 form a delta. These two systems will be equivalent when the resistance measured between any two terminals is same in both of the systems with the third terminal open. For delta to start transformation, we shall first calculate REQ equals to R12 plus R23 plus R31. Later, we shall use the following relations. R1 equals to R31 into R12 divided by REQ. R2 equals to R12 into R23 divided by REQ. And R3 equals to R23 into R31 divided by REQ. If R12 equals to R23 equals to R31 equals to R, then R1 equals to R2 equals to R3 equals to R upon 3. For start to delta transformation, we shall first calculate RR equals to R1 into R2 plus R2 into R3 plus R3 into R1. Later, we shall use the following relations. R12 equals to RR divided by R3. R23 equals to RR divided by R1. And R31 equals to RR divided by R2. If R1 equals to R2 equals to R3 equals to R, then R12 equals to R23 equals to R31 equals to 3 times R. For the network shown, we have to determine the equivalent resistance between terminals A and B. Let us redraw the circuit. Here, 20 ohm, 45 ohm and 10 ohm resistors connected between nodes 1, 2 and 3 form a delta. We shall convert this delta to its equivalent star. Let us first calculate REQ equals to R12 plus R23 plus R31. Using values we get 20 plus 45 plus 10 equals to 75 ohm. We know that R1 equals to R31 into R12 divided by REQ. Using values we get 10 into 20 divided by 75 equals to 2.667 ohm. R2 equals to R12 into R23 divided by REQ. Using values we get 20 into 45 divided by 75 equals to 12 ohm. And R3 equals to R23 into R31 divided by REQ using values we get 45 into 10 divided by 75 equals to 6 ohm. Let us draw the equivalent star of this delta and connect the remaining two registers to complete the network. Here one 12 ohm and one 20 ohm registers are connected in series. They are equivalent resistance. REQ1 equals to 12 plus 20 equals to 32 ohm. Here, 1 6 ohm and 1 20 ohm registers are connected in series. They are equivalent resistance. 
RDQ2 equals to 6 plus 20 equals to 26 ohm. Now 132 ohm and 126 ohm registers are connected in parallel. They are equivalent resistance. RDQ3 equals to 32 into 26 divided by 32 plus 26 equals to 14.345 ohm. Now 12.667 ohm and 114.345 ohm registers are connected in series. They are equivalent resistance. RDQ4 equals to 2.667 plus 14.345 that is equal to 17.012 ohm. Here RDQ4 equals to RAB which is the equivalent resistance between terminals A and B. For the network shown, we have to determine the equivalent resistance between terminals A and B. Here, two 6 ohm resistors are connected in series. They are equivalent resistance. RDQ1 equals to 2 into 6 equals to 12 ohm. Here, one 12 ohm and one 6 ohm resistors are connected in parallel. They are equivalent resistance. RDQ2 equals to 12 into 6 divided by 12 plus 6 equals to 4 ohm. Here, two 6 ohm and one 4 ohm resistors connected between nodes 1, 2 and 3 form a delta. We shall convert this delta to its equivalent star. Let us first calculate RDQ equals to R12 plus R23 plus R31. Using values we get 6 plus 6 plus 4 equals to 16 ohm. We know that R1 equals to R31 into R12 divided by RDQ. Using values we get 4 into 6 divided by 16 equals to 1.5 ohm. R2 equals to R12 into R23 divided by RQ. Using values we get 6 into 6 divided by 16 equals to 2.25 ohm. And R3 equals to R23 into R31 divided by RQ. Using values we get 6 into 4 divided by 16 equals to 1.5 ohm. Let us draw the equivalent star of this delta and connect the remaining two registers to complete the network. Here, one 2.25 ohm and one 3 ohm registers are connected in series. They are equivalent resistance. RDQ3 equals to 2.25 plus 3 equals to 5.25 ohm. In the lower branch, one 1.5 ohm and one 6 ohm registers are connected in series. They are equivalent resistance. RDQ4 equals to 1.5 plus 6 equals to 7.5 ohm. Now 1 5.25 ohm and 1 7.5 ohm registers are connected in parallel. They are equivalent resistance. RDQ5 equals to 5.25 into 7.5 divided by 5.25 plus 7.5 equals to 3.0882 ohm. Now 1 1.5 ohm and 1 3.0882 ohm registers are connected in series. They are equivalent resistance. RDQ6 equals to 1.5 plus 3.0882 that is equal to 4.5882 ohm. Here RQ6 equals to RAB 
which is the equivalent resistance between terminals A and B for the network shown. We have to determine the equivalent resistance between terminals A and B. Here, 3 ohm, 5 ohm and 8 ohm resistors connected to nodes 1, 2 and 3 form a star. We shall transform this star to its equivalent delta. Let us first calculate RR equals to R1 into R2 plus R2 into R3 plus R3 into R1 using values we get 3 into 5 plus 5 into 8 plus 8 into 3 equals to 79. We know that R12 equals to RR divided by R3 using values we get. 79 divided by 8 equals to 9.875 ohm. R23 equals to RR divided by R1 using values we get. 79 upon 3 ohm. And R31 equals to RR divided by R2 using values we get. 79 divided by 5 equals to 15.8 ohm. Let us now replace the star with its equivalent delta. Here, 5 ohm and 15.8 ohm registers are connected in parallel. They are equivalent resistance. RQ1 equals to 5 into 15.8 divided by 5 plus 15.8 equals to 3.798 ohm. Here, 4 ohm and 79 upon 3 ohm registers are connected in parallel. They are equivalent resistance. RQ2 equals to 4 into 79 upon 3 divided by 4 plus 79 upon 3 equals to 3.47253 ohm. Let us redraw the network. Here, 9.875 ohm, 3.47253 ohm and 3.798 ohm registers connected to nodes 1, 2 and 3 form a delta. We shall transform this delta to its equivalent star. Let us now calculate REQ equals to R12 plus R23 plus R31 using values we get 9.875 plus 3.47253 plus 3.798 equals to 17.14553 ohm. We know that R1 equals to R31 into R12 Divided by REQ using values we get 3.798 into 9.875 divided by 17.14553 equals to 2.1875 ohm. R2 equals to R12 into R23 divided by REQ using values we get. 9.875 into 3.47253 divided by 17.14553 equals to 2 ohm. And R3 equals to R23 into R31 divided by REQ using values we get 3.47253 into 3.798 divided by 17.14553 equals to 0 0.76922 ohm. Let us now draw the equivalent star and connect the remaining two registers to complete the network. Here, 6 ohm and 2.1875 ohm registers are connected in series. They are equivalent resistance. RQ3 equals to 6 plus 2.1875 
equals to 8.1875 ohm. Here, 4 ohm and 2 ohm resistors are connected in series. They are equivalent resistance. REQ4 equals to 4 plus 2 equals to 6 ohm. Now, 8.1875 ohm and 6 ohm resistors are connected in parallel. They are equivalent resistance. REQ5 equals to 8.1875 into 6 divided by 8.1875 plus 6 equals to 3.46256 ohm. Now 3.46256 ohm and 0 0.76922 ohm registers are connected in series. They are equivalent registers. REQ6 equals to 3.46256 plus 0 0.76922 equals to 4.23178 ohm. Here REQ6 equals to RAB which is the equivalent resistance between terminals A and B. For the network shown, we have to determine the equivalent resistance between terminals A and B. Here, 10 ohm and 5 ohm registers are connected in series. They are equivalent resistance REQ1 equals to 10 plus 5 equals to 15 ohm. Here, 5 ohm and 25 ohm registers are connected in series. They are equivalent resistance. REQ2 equals to 5 plus 25 equals to 30 ohm. Here, 15 ohm, 5 ohm and 20 ohm registers connected to nodes 1, 2 and 3 form a delta. We shall transform this delta to its equivalent star. Let us calculate REQ3 equals to R12 plus R23 plus R31. Using values we get 15 plus 5 plus 20 equals to 40 ohm. We know that R1 equals to R31 into R12 divided by REQ3. Using values we get 20 into 15 divided by 40 equals to 7.5 ohm. R2 equals to R12 into R23 divided by REQ3. Using values we get 15 into 5 divided by 40 equals to 1.875 ohm and R3 equals to R23 into R31 divided by REQ3. Using values we get 5 into 20 divided by 40 equals to 2.5 ohm. Let us now replace the delta with its equivalent star. Here, one 10 ohm and one 2.5 ohm registers are connected in series. They are equivalent resistance. REQ4 equals to 10 plus 2.5 equals to 12.5 ohm. Here, one 7.5 ohm and one 30 ohm registers are connected in series. They are equivalent resistance. REQ5 equals to 7.5 plus 30 equals to 37.5 ohm. Here, 1 1.875 ohm and 1 2 ohm registers are connected in series. They are equivalent resistance. REQ6 equals to 1.875 plus 2 equals to 3.875 Ohm. Let us redraw the network. Here 12.5 ohm, 3.875 ohm and 15 ohm registers connected between nodes 4, 5 and 6 form a delta. We shall convert this delta to its equivalent star.
Let us now calculate RQ7 equals to R45 plus R56 plus R64. Using values we get 12.5 plus 3.875 plus 15 equals to 31.375 ohm. R4 equals to R64 into R45 divided by REQ7. Using values we get 15 into 12.5 divided by 31.375 equals to 5.9761 ohm. R5 equals to R45 into R56 divided by REQ7. Using values we get 12.5 into 3.875 divided by 31.375 equals to 1.5438 ohm. And R6 equals to R56 into R64 divided by REQ7 using values we get 3.875 into 15 divided by 31.375 equals to 1.8526 ohm. Let us now draw the equivalent star of this delta and connect the remaining two registers to complete the network. Here, one 1.5438 ohm and one 37.5 ohm Registers are connected in series. They are equivalent resistance. RQ8 equals to 1.5438 plus 37.5 equals to 39.0438 ohm. In the lower branch, 1 1.8526 ohm and 1 30 ohm registers are connected in series. They are equivalent resistance. RQ9 equals to 1.8526 plus 30 equals to 31.8526 ohm. Now 1 39.0438 ohm and 1 31.8526 ohm registers are connected in parallel. They are equivalent resistance. RQ10 equals to 39. 0.438 into 31.8526 divided by 39.0438 plus 31.8526 equals to 17.5417 ohm. Now 1 5.9761 ohm and 1 17.5417 ohm registers are connected in series. They are equivalent resistance. RQ11 equals to 5.9761 plus 17.5417 equals to 23.5178 ohm. Here RQ11 equals to RAB which is the equivalent resistance between terminals A and B. For the network shown, we have to determine the equivalent resistance between terminals A and B. Here, three 1 ohm resistors connected between nodes 1, 2 and 3 form a delta. We can write R12 equals to R23 equals to R31 equals to R equals to 1 ohm. Converting this delta into its equivalent star we get R1 equals to R2 equals to R3 equals to R upon 3 that is equal to 1 third ohm. Let us now draw the equivalent star of this delta. In this network there is another star formed by 3 1 ohm resistors connected to nodes. 1, 2 and 3. By putting these two stars together, we get a star which has 1 ohm resistor in parallel with 1 third ohm resistor on its 
each leg. Now let us join the one ohm resistors connected to nodes 4, 5 and 6. Now on each leg of this star, 1 ohm and 1 third ohm resistors are connected in parallel. They are equivalent resistance. RQ1 equals to 1 into 1 third divided by 1 plus 1 third equals to 0 0.25 ohm. Now 1 ohm and 0 0.25 ohm resistors are connected in series on each leg. They are equivalent resistance. RDQ2 equals to 1 plus 0 0.25 equals to 1.25 ohm. Let us now replace the core of this network with its equivalent star. Here are three 1.25 ohm resistors connected to nodes 4, 5 and 6 form a star. We can write R4 equals to R5 equals to R6 equals to R dash equals to 1.25 ohm. Converting this star to its equivalent delta we get R45 equals to R56 equals to R64 equals to 3 times R dash that is equal to 3 into 1.25 that gives us 3.75 ohm. Let us now replace the star with its equivalent delta. By rearranging this network, we get a simple series parallel network. Here 1 ohm and 3.75 ohm registers are connected in parallel. They are equivalent resistance. RQ3 equals to 1 into 3.75 divided by 1 plus 3.75 equals to 15 upon 19 ohm. Similarly, RQ4 equals to RQ5 equals to 15 upon 19 ohm. Here to 15 upon 19 ohm registers are connected in series. They are equivalent resistance. RQ6 equals to 2 into 15 upon 19, that is equal to 30 upon 19 ohm. Now 30 upon 19 ohm and 15 upon 19 ohm registers are connected in parallel. They are equivalent resistance. RQ7 equals to 30 upon 19 into 15 upon 19 divided by 30 upon 19 plus 15 upon 19 equals to 10 upon 19 ohm that is equal to 0 0.5263 ohm. Here RQ7 equals to RAB which is the equivalent resistance between terminals A and B. So today we have solved a couple of numerical problems on network reduction methods. By solving these problems, we have learned how to simplify a complicated resistive network and determine its equivalent resistance between any two terminals using star to delta or delta to star transformation. Hope this lecture has been useful for you. If you have any suggestion or question, please drop it in the comment section below. If you have liked this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Thank you.